Air is providing services at another location temporarily after a driver plowed into their building two weeks ago. Action is now reporter Jordan Henry spoke with the daycare's owner about this new chapter. And while I was coming back from lunch and I turned the corner and I saw, you know, um, the fire trucks, ambulances, everything, and I had no idea what had happened. And so then as I got closer, um, I realized what had happened and I was just devastated. I felt so sad. It was like just to see the looks on their faces. Patricia Roberts has owned and operated Great Adventures Christian Preschool for about five years now. She says it could take months before she's able to move back into her building. Back half of the preschool room is destroyed. The whole classroom is destroyed. So. But Robert says the community's help is what's been keeping her going. This is Anderson Community Church. This is my home church, and it was um, our emergency relocation site anyway. Um, we hadn't planned on actually ever having to use it, but we did, and we're so grateful. Um, the community has just been wonderful as far as donations or just asking if there's anything that they can do. Robert says the preschool could be getting a whole new renovation to make the parents feel more comfortable and um, just to have a whole different look of the preschool so when the children come back, it, it's gonna be fresh and clean and, and just really nice for them. She says the best part is knowing her kids are going to be okay and seeing them back in school. It's been really great to see the kids reconnect and you know, say, how are you doing? And um, you know, we're in a new facility so we have all new toys and they're all excited about the new toys and um, just the friendships that they have. I called the Anderson Police Department and they're still investigating how the crash happened. In Anderson, Jordan Henry, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Roberts tells Action News Now she's thankful for everyone who jumped in and helped on the day of the crash.